and welcome to this look at the MIDI SID. This is a six oscillator synthesizer, which is based around the sound of the SID chip, which was in the Commodore 64. Uh, it's a very heralded chip. Uh, it's a very sort of analog sounding digital chip. So what can we do with the MIDI SID? Well, we can play back any MIDI file and have the MIDI SID interpret it into kind of SID style Commodore 64 music. And we can also use it as a synthesizer. There are loads of different parameters and things that we can mess around with. And we'll be chucking it into Ableton and having a play with it there. Yes. So we can change these instruments on the fly. So fast, listen to that, it's amazing. So even just for playing back your favorite MIDI files, this is really good. But what you can also do and how it really appeals to me is you can use it as a synthesizer. So in terms of edit editing the parameters, there is a way to go into the menu and change the parameters. We can choose waveform and also waveform combinations. We can choose ADSR, pulse width modulation. There's a filter, filter sweep, vibrato, you can have a mod wheel assignment, and sync ring modulation and tuning as well. Now each of these menus you are able to jump into, but how we really want to edit them is within Ableton. So that's why I've created an editor for max for live which allows us to edit these parameters and save them in Ableton. So here we are playing back the Lazy Jones music, which was used by Kerncraft 400 in their track Zombie Nation. We're in polyphonic mode at the moment, but we can still do some filter action. We've got a sweep function, which is really good. We've got the start and the end of the sweep here, and the time, the duration of the sweep. I really like that. It's kind of like a, you can make a kind of downward ramp, which is one of my faves. We've got options to change the waveform here, of course. We've got waveform combinations and noise. But let's put it in pulse so we can do a bit of pulse width modulation. There we go, lovely stuff. We also have the ability to flick through the presets and then any parameter changes get sent to the unit. And as you can hear, it's an amazingly, amazingly fun synth to play around with. And it's great to have those real fat SID chip sounds as well. And that is the MIDI SID. So it's available now from Sheila at Peacock Media. Um, it comes with a PDF manual and a lot of firmware upgrades. There's been a few firmware upgrades since I've owned it and um, Sheila's still working on um, making improvements and adding extra features. So you can update using the USB socket, which is on the right hand side here. Uh, there's a PDF manual you can download and there's much more information on it if you Google around. So, as I said, you can buy the MIDI SID editor from my Gumroad store. You can get the MIDI SID from Sheila's website, which will be in the description. And I'm pretty sure you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.